Hello, welcome Newton Tog. Um, back here again after a little hiatus. Uh, no real good explanation for it, other than I just didn't make any videos. Uh, I did get my table, I forget what I called it. Uh, my table completed. Right now I'm trying to do something called ammonia fuming. Uh, that's where you build an enclosure around your, your piece, uh, put some ammonia inside the enclosure, and the fumes will uh, basically age the the tannins in the wood, if you will. Um, I got, let's grab it here. I got this from the local grocery store and uh, it was only a couple bucks and I was there and, and so I'm like, you know, let's give it a shot. Uh, it doesn't say what percent ammonia it is, which from what I've been reading ever since then may not be a good sign. Uh, I'm actually now uh, curious how much is actually in here. But, uh, so yeah, what they do, they take ammonia and they dilute it down with water uh, and you can use it to clean things. Uh, I guess long time ago, uh, woodworkers found that when they kept wood in, uh, you know, above horse stalls, the, uh, the fumes would, uh, the ammonia fumes would darken their wood, especially white oak. Uh, and so that's where they kind of got the idea to just do it uh, inside enclosure. Uh, one downside with this here is uh, the pieces were, I probably should have done the white oak pieces uh, separately. That way I could have actually had a lot, much smaller space, much smaller area for, for everything. Uh, and then there wouldn't be these giant gaps in here. Uh, I'm not fully confident that this is actually darkened all that well. Uh, I took a look at it yesterday. It's been about 48 hours in here. Uh, and so today is the reveal. And so let's take a look at it here. All right. Get all my boards off. Okay. And it's not looking too good so far. Not looking too good. Okay, you can smell some of the ammonia. And I think it has darkened slightly. Uh, let me see if I can find a piece of the white oak from before. Okay, so this isn't the same exact white oak, uh, but you can see it, it's darkened a little perhaps, maybe a little bit. So this isn't from the same tree, but I want to say it was, it was close, to, close to a nice light color, and now it's just a little bit darker. Um, overall, I'm not, no, this is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all, but uh, I mean, you can see... Let's see here, my setup down on there, see I just have a pan with the ammonia. It's a lemon scented ammonia, so it smells lemony fresh in here. Uh, only the slightest hint of noxious fumes. Uh, but no, I mean, I think as far as, as far as I can tell, the white oak really, there's nothing special about it right now. Maybe this back piece back here, and it's a little bit darker back here already, but it looks like it might be just a little bit darker. So I got um, white oak with maple in between. Yeah, no, that didn't work. So uh, I'm gonna go back to plan B. There's this uh, product I found, I think I found it at Home Depot, that uh, it, it's supposed to work similar to the vinegar and steel wool uh, to darken the woods. I've tested the vinegar and steel wool on uh, white oak before, and it does. It turns it a real, real nice dark color. Uh, obviously, I have this other product because I didn't like what the vinegar and steel wool did to pine. Uh, it kind of grayed it out, really, you know, aged it out in the sun. Um, but with this other product, it, it turned it much more of a brown color, which, which, uh, which I liked in the pine. Uh, and so, and I have that to use up. So I'm gonna apply it on here. And it is, it, I'm gonna put it on everything, just to kind of age everything together. Hopefully that looks good on the maple. Like I said, I probably should have done this before I assembled it. Uh, sometimes my production methods are lacking. Um, but even, you can even see down here, like some of the cherry, because that's, this is just some scrap cherry I'd left over. Um, none of that looks any darker or anything like that. This spot here, that's where I did some of the vinegar and steel wool uh, on the cherry. Um, and then these these two things here are the shelves. They go here and here. It's maple 
with walnut in the middle. This is walnut milled from uh, from my parents' farm, tree from my parents' farm, so I like that, incorporate that in there. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. We'll take take a video of, of that once it's all done and, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Hello, welcome again. Addendum uh, to the video I just made there. This is, let's see if I can get a good light here. Uh, this is a piece, I applied that ammonia, it was, it was in the tent uh, with the, the, the rest of it um, the entire time. And before I even put it in there, I directly applied the ammonia to this piece. And uh, I mean, as you can see, it's, well, maybe you can't really see, there you go. The, the reflex seemed to be more pronounced, but other than that, uh, this this stuff doesn't it, it won't doesn't work for ammonia fuming. Um, my guess is it is either so low a concentration of ammonia that there's just a, not enough vapor to really do anything, uh, or it's not even ammonia in here that uh, and that they just have a formula that works just like ammonia. Maybe smells like ammonia. You think if it looks smells and you know if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's ammo it's it's ammonia. Um, so so yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm sure this works great for cleaning your house. Uh, it doesn't work quite so well for fuming white oak. So, um, you know, like I said, I will, I will try a few more things. This here, by the way, eventually it's a plane holder. So instead of like a till or any, all those kind of things, uh, I like to make these little shelves. Anyway, thanks for watching. Toodles.